while there are no new methods out there, this video will always be relevant. Welcome to Skyrim Survival Mode. This time, I will show you how to do all skills level 100 and also tips and tricks to survive in Skyrim Survival Mode. This method not really abusing bugs, so it will keep the grinding feeling and not ruining your whole performance in game. Hey, you. You're finally away. The first thing we need to do is create a new character, choose the character you like, and I prefer Nord because it's all about Talos. After that, escape from Alduin and choose between Harfar or Ralof. I prefer Ralof because he's top clock. Kill this damn Imperials and take the heavy armor and light armor for later. Also, take their weapons and daggers. The first skill we need to level up is one-handed. Set your difficulty to adapt at least. Use your dagger on your left hand and your sword on your right hand. This will help you attack more faster than usual. Level up stamina and health, and use perk points to pick up one-handed skills. After finishing leveling up 100 one-handed skills, the second thing you need to do is level up sneak. Use the dagger, crouch, see the indicator if you are really undetectable, and swing your dagger until your brain is shrinking. Boom! Now it's already 100. Legendary it and do legendary as much as you want. In my case, I do 5 times legendary sneak because we need the perk point and level up stamina and health just for this moment. That's how we grind perks before escape hell again, guys. One skill left that we need to do is level up two-handed. One of the Stormcock warriors use a two-handed weapon, send him to Southern Guard, and take the weapon. Now you can level up two-handed skills. If you like two-handed builds, you can take the burst, but I don't really need for now. Now we are ready. Oh my god, it's Albert Einstein! It's Albert Einstein! After exiting the cave, go strike ahead, turn left, kill the bandits there. In the bandit camp, there's a magic suit. Take it. In the same direction, there's Talos worshipper like B, who was killed by a Thalmor with a British accent. Ha, huh, nodes. Take the valuables there, then return to Guardian Stone. Take Match Stone, don't forget about that. Go to Ember Shard Mines for Torch. After that, go to Findal in Riverwood. Did I see you talking to Sven? Do the hardest quest. He already has a mother. Boom! Findel can now recruit. Go to White Run. Take cabbage, leek, potato, and tomato on from, and still some things to eat. Go to Banner Mare and sleep. Okay, we need money right now. I know there's a proverb say money isn't everything, but without money, we can't do anything. After I say this, your finger move itself and click or touch the subscribe button, activate the notification bell, and don't forget to share, like, and comment. The fastest way to get money if you play on PC is find a seller who has a lot of money. Make sure the menu looks like this, click your name, then select the item you want to sell using the keyboard drag your name to the seller name using mouse still holds your left click mouse then press e now don't touch anything scroll the highest value sell and profit this is a bug where we sell goods from the seller itself i call them a muddy duplicate quick save Reset their money with, with this punch, load, 
do this until Elder Scrolls 6 release. Now we reach. If you console user, you can duplicate any items that valuable. Bring final here, drop the item. And go outside white run. Go back. And profit. Sell that duplicate item. After that, repeat with save, hit, load. After you do all that money tips and trick, buy a house outside white run to store your items that you don't need and buy horse. Go to this place, buy fire salt. If she doesn't have, just punch and reload. Make vegetable soup as much as you can. Make backpack that's suitable for you, or maybe you can buy. Make a camping supplies, then we can prepare for the biggest things. Bring Findal to this spot, let him wait here for the rest of eternity. Now drop any survival item that we make. Use Findal to take the items. Once again, let him wait. We go to outside the white run. Go back again. Then boom, that's the feature that made by Thanos. You can duplicate any items using this method and that's how you survive in Skyrim guys. Make the survival items as much as you want. Now we are ready to level up anything. First thing we need to do is smithing. Buy iron ore or you can go to the halted stream camp. Kill all the bandits. Bruh. Take this transmit ore to make the iron ore become silver and silver ore become gold ore. If you don't have iron ore, you can mine in this place. And then now go back to white run and transmit iron ore become gold ore. After you make gold ore, make gold ingot and then you know the drill. Duplicate until you have 650 gold ingot at least and make 20 necklace and gold ring for the rest. You need like 20 necklace and 20 rings for your enchantment letter. Now your smithing skills already 100. You can take perk to heavy armor or light armor. It's up to you. Then sell the gold ring or save for later. It's up to you. Now we need alchemy. This is one of the skills that we need, but I pretty boring to level up. All you need to do is simple. Wait. Creep Cluster and Giant Stone. Giant Stone will be the hardest ingredient that we need. You can get wheat outside the white run, you can get Creep Cluster in Arcadia's Cauldron, and Giant Stone near white run. After you get all of that ingredient, you know what's next. Duplicate them. Until you get at least 850 and make that potion. After you get certain level, take the alchemy spark to boosting your alchemy. And boom! Alchemy 100! Now, you will need snow berries and blue butterfly wing for fortify enchanting, beast roar and glowy mushroom for fortify smithing, but do not make it yet. Go to dragon's reach, find him, 
by Grand Soul Gems filled with soul and duplicate it for 100 or 200 for later, it's up to you. The last one is enchanting, pretty simple. All you need to do just go to Mortal, discover our new best home mirror watch, use your flame magic to open the house, now it's open. Go to this place, take an enchanted stuff destruction and hearthstone. Then we duplicate it in white run. Since we can't fast travel, go to solitude, discover the stables, and go back to white run. Now we can duplicate them. You will need 10 hearthstone and 10 stuff since this method will boost XP 20 times than usual. But I recommended you to make maybe 500 for each item so it will help us to grind it first. This is will be the hardest enemy you have encountered. Go to the downstar. Read guest for dinner to activate the quest. Go to this southeast this area, discover blood chill cavern, then kill all the vampire in this mansion. Bruh. After you finish the quest, find the enchanting table stuff and enchant that stuff with hearthstone. Enchanted 100. You can do this method for our grinding purse since we can't fast travel and literally it takes no time. Make your way to the downstar again. Make sure you give any items to find all. Go to this chest. Disenchant everything that we got. Boom la la la. Now we have so many effects. Okay, let's make the best alchemy and smithing suits. All you have to do is make fortified enchanting with the ingredients that I've been told before. If you might still be confused about the ingredients, you can see them in the description below. Make the potion around 10 at least. Go to the enchanting table, drink the potion. Make alchemy armor as fast as possible. After you make the armor, use that suit. Make another fortified enchanting potion. Make it quick. Make it quick. This time, make alchemy and smithing armor. This armor will be our main key to making all kinds of the best armor ever, so save it carefully. After you do that, make full set light armor and heavy armor enchanting with restoration reduce, armor with illusion and conjuration reduce, enchant shield with red blocking, and don't forget to enchant ring and necklace with restoration, illusion and conjuration reduce, and now we are ready. Equip heavy armor or light armor restoration first, it's up to you. Order Findal, wait as far as you can so he will not interrupting us by healing magic if you don't have go to this place punch someone and use healing magic with no mana cost and that's how you level up light armor and heavy armor to 100 easy but it takes time after you reach restoration level 25 or 35 i don't know open this perk surrender by fast healing and repeat it will level up your restoration faster
after your light armor and heavy armor already 100 use this magic armor that already been made by muffle and casting muffle for easy 100 illusion that stealth and kill someone and casting soul trap until 100 conjuration you have committed crimes against skyrim and her people what say you in your defense smart man come along <laughs> now shield left use this heavy armor again go to the nearest giant camp in this place no 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 wait 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 kill one of them if two giants use your shield on your left hand and fast healing on your right hand let the giant hit you boom shield now 100 it doesn't take a really long time to do this but i know how boring you are then what do we do next This is the time for us to make the best mage armor ever. Choose your favorite armor. For my case, I made it with the Lunar Guard armor mod. You can check the mod on Nexus mod. Don't forget to make a fortify smithing potion. The time has come. After we make it, drink the potion. Make it legendary. After that, drink fortify enchanting potion, then attach enchanting destruction and alteration reduce, and I also make weapons in case something happens that we don't know. Oh yeah, don't forget to bring your restoration armor again to make restoration to 100. After making this armor, it's time to level up the speech. The next thing you guys need to do is sell this armor to the Khajiit Caravan on Downstar. For PC user, you can use a duplicate money that I talked you before. Even though the seller money is zero, still spam this way to increase the level of speech easier. For console users, you can sell this armor, buy it back and sell it again until 100. If your money isn't enough to buy back the armor, you, you can go to this chest and take your money and your armor back. Now it's time to make the destruction to 100. Go to Hop's Fall Cave, which is located quite close to Winter Hall. Kill all the enemies inside. After you get to this area, open this chest, the ancient tomb chest. Take all the book spell there learn all of them and what we need the most is unbounded storm if you turn off the survival mode you can just fast travel from one place to another with quite a long distance and your restoration is already 100 but we are Norse we do not take the easy way as a Norse you cast the spell right now and wait until destruction reaches 100 as a reminder, cast this spell with no people or else you will aggro them. Now, back to Winter Hall again. Find a woman. And buy a circle of protection. Use the armor. Cast a spell. And boom, restoration to 100. No, just the archery and alteration skills remains, which we haven't leveled up yet. You have to return to Windhelm, fast travel to White Run, complete the main quest in White Run. With this, we can access High Hrothgar. Don't forget to visit the ruins of blah blah blah. Then go to Ivarstead. After that, go to Fort Amol. 
kill all the bandits that are there check this bucket which has a lamp now we have bounded bow after you get the bounded bow go to resolve and you have got one of four crystal shards after from resolve make your way to red water then take telekinesis learn take items using telekinesis wait until just wait boom alteration 100 make your way again to high hothgar when you get here don't meet them use your bounded bow and attack them boom archery to 100 okay i really boring in this state right now Please walk to the Riften. Good luck. After you arrive there, please return to White Run because I don't know if there is an enchanting table in Riften. Tihi. <laughs> make armor for lock picking and bow damage. For the legs, make an enchanting muffle. After making the armor, please go back to Riften again. Gel yourself. Save your progress. Get out of the cell. Take your things back. Kill the prison guard. Now go to this guy. His name is Black, but he's not Black. You know what I mean. Store your most of the money. Give him money, but not too much. At least 200 gold for starter. Pickpocket our money back. Do this again after you hit a certain level. Take the perk. Do it again with higher money. Maximum 1000 gold. Repeat it until pickpocket to 100. Take all our money in the store, don't forget that. There are two methods to level up lock picking. The first method is to open all the locks throughout the city, including chest, house, anything. The second method is to find a chest with a master difficulty level, let the lock pick break. Slow but sure, lock picking skill will definitely be level 100. But you need lockpick like much much lockpick you will need to level 100 and it's too boring to level up this skill this is too much bro this is too much oh yeah don't forget to activate thief stone now it's already 100 wait all skills are level 100 how do you feel all birds left? There are three methods that you can use. The first is snake, the second is enchanting, the third is speech. Choose one of those three methods. With this, you can fill in all the perks from the available skills. Now I want to share tips and tricks to maximize your character to be stronger. We have got one of four crystal shards already. The second shard can be obtained from Windhelm. Go towards Southwest. There is a Dwemer Wind named Enter there and you have got the second shard. The third shard is near the city of Markath and Solitude. It's called Deep Fog Crossing. Just take it. Boom! The third fragment is complete. The last shard that you need is in Arkham... Uh, I don't know how to say it. After arriving here, the puzzle is very simple. Shoot the one on the left, then the right one, then up left, up right, and finally in the middle one. If you want to play first for looting, go ahead. We've got all four shots. 
back again to ruins of uh, my thong broken activate the gate make your way down there after arriving here make a crown no matter what after we make the crown now it's yours thank you guys for watching this video if you have suggestion or content ideas for me please comment below don't forget to subscribe comment and share this video thank you guys and i hope elder scroll 6 will come out i hope